Today we're going to start a new series of tutorial videos in which we're going to be demonstrating uh, all the ins and outs and how to use 11MK2 plugin that's included in Avid's Pro Tools software. So what is 11MK2? Well, 11MK2 is the ultimate, I guess you could say, guitar solution that's included in Pro Tools as a plugin. So let's say you are a guitar player. Okay, you play electric guitar, but you don't have the space to, let's say, mic, okay, your your amplifier cabinet. Uh, you're working from home, you're on the road, you're touring, and you need to be able to uh, lay down your guitar tracks, at least your ideas uh, for pre-production, or even for your, for your actual, you know, record, album, EP, or whatever it is. So, the people at Avid, they have developed this plugin that basically takes any kind of DI input, uh, whether it's an electric guitar or bass, and it'll run it through their own emulations for guitar amp heads, guitar amp, uh, guitar cabinets, uh, microphones. You can select different types of microphones and even their positioning. So, um, on today's tutorial, we're just going to give you a quick overview of the plugin and the, it's different, um, functions. Okay. So, Right now, I have a I have an audio track here. It's labeled as Guitar DI. If I just press play, you're gonna see it's a very simple DI sound. Okay, so you get the idea, right? It's just a electric guitar um, playing that. I'm just strumming it. Okay, so um, it's clean, but. The reason it's clean is because, once again, I didn't have space to actually, you know, set up a guitar amp uh, with a cab and actually mic it properly. So I just recorded the eye, and then we're going to add the 11MK2 plugin to modify its tone and actually, and, you know, make it sound like an actual guitar. So uh, if you go under your inserts uh, column, either from the edit window or your mix window, it doesn't really matter, um, you can just click and look for Avid. And then Avid, you're going to find 11MK2, okay, 11MK2 mono in this case. Now, you can also, you can also find it from uh, Harmonic if you have it, uh, like in my case, I have it by manufacturer and type. So, if you go Harmonic, you can also find 11MK2. In this case, it's mono because it's a mono signal, okay. So, let's go ahead and open that. So, as soon as I open the plugin, um, you can see it'll load the plugin with a default patch. When I say a default patch, I mean a default configuration. If I just press play right now. So, it loaded uh, an amplifier that has distortion on it, okay? Now, uh, just to give you a quick overview here, you got different areas or different modules in this plugin. First module is your amp module here on the left. Uh, you have an input input knob to set the input of your signal. In this case, is how loud this DI will hit the, the plugin, okay? Uh, now, after that, you have an amp type um, or an amp module in which you can select different amp types. Um, the amp itself, the amp head you have underneath, you can see the amp with all the knobs, you know, gain and EQs and master and so on and so forth. That's going to depend on the amp. You also have a cap selector, so you can select the cap. Uh, and you can see the cap actually down here. You can't see the speaker, but you can see you can, can, can see the color and a little bit of the grill there, okay? Um, modules can easily be a bypass, so you can bypass the head, you can bypass the cap. And at the end, you have your mic selection. Um, and that's the last module. Then after that, you have your output knob. That's going to set the overall output of this plugin. So your guitar DI signal hits the input of the plugin, goes through the amp, through the cab, microphone, through the output, and then that's the signal that actually hits your fader here, and eventually it'll hit your master bus. So once again, plugin is made, or it's designed so that you input a DI, like a clean DI signal, so that you can modify it with the actual amp that you've selected, cabs, and so on and so forth.
So that's it for today. Um, it's just a little quick overview of 11 and MK2. Stay tuned because in the next uh, tutorials, we're going to be explaining module by module. So you have a, a better idea and a better understanding of how this works. If you have any other questions, please call us from ObediMPC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.